Well, Ken, you know this is coming your way, my friend. Did drafting Deshaun Watson make up for passing on your boy Big Tony? Please. No. The Houston Texans are in panic mode. 25th to 12th for Deshaun Watson. Panic mode. They're chasing their tail. They have no idea what they're doing at quarterback. If I were a Texans fan, as I've said before, I would consider suing the franchise for fraud, mismanagement. This is, their quarterback situation has wasted the window of a Super Bowl-ready team. Every other aspect of that team is good. Defense, offensive weapons, Lamar Miller, DeAndre Hopkins, except for one position. And you're telling me that your options were a historically very good quarterback, great, very good to great quarterback, top 10 over the last 10 years, versus a rookie, Deshaun Watson or Tom Savage, that's what they've entrusted this team to. It's embarrassing in management. It's embarrassing where they've left their window of opportunity. Won a national championship. The embarrassment. In college. The embarrassment is you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know, it's interesting, Will Kane. You, I don't know. See, y'all too young to know. There was a show that used to come on. I think it was in the 70s or maybe the early 80s. It was called Mork and Mindy. <laughs> and Robin Williams, the late Robin Williams, God rest his soul, was the star of the show. And he was from another planet. And what happened, ladies and gentlemen, is that unlike most human beings who get older, he was a guy that was born old and got younger. Benjamin Button. That, 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 right, we, could go, we could go there, bunch of Benjamin Button as well. Yeah. That's Will Kane about Tony Romo. You act like he's getting younger. You act like he ain't 36 years old with a bad back and a hurt pinky and a broken collarbone and all of these other bevy of injuries that have left him sidelined. You point to the fact that he completed 65% of his passes Thank or that you. he had a 78 and 49 record Thank as a you. starter. You ignore the two playoff victories in eight and a half years. You're acting like, oh, my Lord, to not have Tony Romo. What has happened to the Dallas Cowboys? They're not going to win a Super Bowl when the man never even played in a damn conference championship game. I mean, you got to be kidding me. You got Donovan McNabb, which are, you got Donovan McNabb. Let me tell you something. Billy really likes it. Oh, look hold at on, the green on, jersey. He's giving you the claps. Hold on, hold on. Green let, jerseys. Let me tell you why they're giving me the claps. Because they recognize the level of disrespect. Back that spews out of your mouth. Donovan McNabb, all, Donovan McNabb walked into this building. Donovan McNabb. I got enough. And, and, and by the way, Donovan McNabb, five NFC Championship game appearances, a Super Bowl appearance, and you just walk and talk to him like, oh, hey, D, how you doing? Let but but Tony Romo, oh, my Lord, let's bow to this two-playoff victory-having individual that stole Phil Simms' job in television, by the way, and he didn't even deserve that. I mean, you got to be kidding me that you could sit up there with a straight face and say the things that you say. Take a no breath. wonder why Dallas doesn't win. Go ahead.